I'm absolutely delighted to have been appointed um, to chair the governing body, um, which of course is ultimately responsible for City Lit. The governing body chose me uh, as the new chair um, because I haven't got a background in adult education like Carol had, because I had a good track record of running excellent organisations. I was latterly chief executive of Camden Council, which was one of its, the best local authorities in England, um, and I hope to bring that experience to City Lit. Well, I just think it's the most fantastic organisation. I first visited it when I was at Camden and Peter was the principal, um, and I then went on to do a course uh, here as well. Um, but I think City Lit represents everything that I've always wanted from my career, really, which is about making a difference for people. Uh, and I think that the governing body, along with the executive leadership of, the, of City Lit's responsibility is to make it easy for you to make a difference um, for people. One of the first events I was invited to was the um, Adult Learning Learners Awards, which was a, an amazing uh, event and showcased some of the lives that were turned around by City Lit's intervention. Not everything, of course, that City Lit does is as um, extreme as that or dramatic, um, but nevertheless, they give, uh, City Lit gives opportunities to so many people to enrich their lives, really. Um, I think learning is incredibly important. I was a teacher and a lecturer earlier in my career, and I do realise how important good teaching is. Being inspired by a teacher is probably one of the best things that ever happens to you, really, isn't it? Of course, um, City Lit does a wide range of things. Um, it's um, got lots of challenges, like all organisations in the current um, austere environment that we live in um, and of course to stay excellent you have to keep on um, changing you can't stand still or you will go backwards so it's really important that the strategic thinking is done about uh, where City Lit needs to move to but also that there's a focus on um, improving on every front really I think that's what the improving the student experience is about it's about looking at everything through the eyes of our customer um, and saying well how can we change that to make it better how would we want it to be for ourselves is an, I think an excellent question to ask well the group that I was in had a strong focus on enrollment and giving people information about courses before they started and they obviously get a lot of complaints from students when they finally get here that it was quite hard to find out what the course was about and sometimes they've got groups of, stu of students who've slightly misunderstood what was available. So giving people really good information I think is incredibly important and I know that um, there's been a lot of work on the website and more needs to be done to make that make that possible. But of course again we can't simply rely on that because lot, our demographics there's lots of people, lots of older people who might not want to use that um, as a, a means of learning about courses. So the telephone inquiries are still very important too. Um, the other theme that I emerged from the group that I was in was about the um, pressures of the building. Um, it's obviously not big enough um, and um, there are lots of things that were built for a much smaller population of, uh, of students and courses um, and that, will, that can't be fixed incrementally, it has to be uh, looked at in a, in a different way. But there are, you know, there were some good suggestions about how things could be managed better within that current you know, pressurised in environment. I think one of the things that people were talking about was, in, in, you know, in, in inculcating a, a sense of responsibility to other students, um, so, you know, not talking loudly in corridors and all of that sort of thing, um, uh, which I think is good because I think that for me, City Lit, the two courses that I've done has been very much not just about the teaching and the being taught, but actually a group and belonging to a group and creating that environment of shared endeavour which I think is important so we could extend it beyond the classroom into the, the you know the whole sense of a college.